assalamu alaikum students uh, today we will talk about uh, smart diseases of uh, crop plants uh, these include uh, loose smut of wheat barley and oats and covered smut of oats and barley and whip smut of sugarcane and flag smut of wheat so these are very important uh, diseases of uh, uh, cereal crops mainly and graminous crops uh, these are actually characterized, these mud diseases are characterized by the formation of black powdery masses of spores uh, inside the infected host, mainly the grains. All are uh, parasites of plants, mostly attacking uh, the ovaries of the uh, flowers and uh, uh, producing uh, smut sorry uh, in the place of grains. Uh, so grains are actually uh, filled with these uh, uh, mass of uh, black mass of spores in this case. Uh, there are some examples of uh, the smut diseases uh, as I told you before uh, loose smut of uh, wheat, barley and oats. Uh, these are respectively caused by Astilago triticae, Astilago nuda and Astilago avini. Uh, covered smut of oats and barley are uh, caused by Astilago cholerae and hordii respectively and a whip smut of sugarcane is uh, caused by Astilago uh, cytamini and uh, flag smut of uh, wheat is uh, caused by Eurocystis triticae. First of all, we will talk about in detail uh, regarding the loose smut of wheat uh, that is caused by Astilago triticae and that is actually blossom uh, penetration type uh, that uh, enters into the plant uh, through the uh, in the heading stage. Uh, in the ovaries and uh, the astilago uh, triticide belongs to astilaginales and astilaginaceae all of these uh, pathogens which cause uh, smut uh, belong to astilago genus and order astilaginales and astilaginaceae smut means uh, the sooty or black or charcoal like powder that is actually the black spores, sooty spores of uh, these fungi. Uh, these are responsible for the heavy losses uh, when susceptible varieties uh, with infected seeds are uh, grown year after year. Uh, 3 to 30% three to uh, crop losses are uh, reported uh, due to uh, this disease. So what are the symptoms? Here uh, you can see uh, the head of the affected uh, plants uh, is converted into black mass of spores and no grain, grain formation takes place. Uh, similarly, uh, the young spikes, uh, infected young spikes, uh, spikes uh, spikelets are covered uh, by silky membrane, silvery membrane. Uh, here you can see uh, these are uh, covered by the uh, silvery membrane. Only the arms of the ant uh, varieties escape transformation uh, or being uh, transformed uh, into the uh, mass of spores. Spores are easily separate and blown away uh, by wind, uh, leaving a beer rachis. So, disease cycle air dried spores can survive for at almost 12 months at 0 to 10 degrees centigrade. Uh, pathogens uh, is internally seed borne. Uh, infection occurs when flowers are uh, in full bloom. Uh, that is why uh, this uh, disease is uh, called the blossom penetration type. And ovary is uh, just uh, developed after fertilization. So, this is the point of uh, our stage of attack of uh, this uh, disease. Uh, the conducive temperature for the development of this disease is 22 to 25 degrees centigrade at a relative humidity of uh, 60 to 85 percent. So when penetration takes place, uh, penetration occurs mostly through stigma by a germ tube uh, producing uh, by the germinating spores. Uh, the, uh, within 8 to 10 days, infection establishes in ovary. Uh, the climate spores are uh, uh, disseminated by wind, uh, splashes and uh, uh, 
perpetuation, uh, the over seasoning of this fungus uh, uh, takes place uh, in the mainly in the seed. Uh, fungus remains dormant within the seed as it uh, matures. Uh, in the following season, the fungus is activated by the germinating seed. Until the blossoming time, plant shows no external symptoms. Uh, within the florid parts, uh, fungus rapidly increases in mass and uh, uh, fungus completely replaces the grain by uh, the clay, clay made spores. Here uh, you can see uh, the seeds. Uh, uh, seeds have uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, spores. Uh, inside clay made spores, uh, this fungus grows systemically. Uh, that is a systemic infection uh, that uh, mainly goes into the uh, vasculature of the plants uh, systemically uh, and uh, invades the heads and kernels. Uh, powdery mass of spores uh, replaces the seed uh, in the in the head. Uh, these spores blown away by wind uh, to the adjacent plant in the field and the younger tillers of the nearby uh, plants in the field. Uh, the, these spores lands on the flowers and uh, flowers of healthy plants and germinate there uh, on the stigma and infects the embryo. And uh, infected seed is uh, harvested again uh, and uh, with no visible uh, infection and this cycle starts again. How we can manage uh, this disease, the solar energy treatment, uh, peri soaking uh, period of uh, uh, four hours followed by one hour exposure to sun is uh, very good in the summer. Hot water treatment can be done uh, four to five hours in the tub at ordinary temperature, room temperature. Then uh, the temperature is uh, raised to uh, 55 degrees centigrade for 5 to 7 minutes. The uh, seed tra treatment can also be done with uh, Vitavox Vita and uh, Viviston uh, at the rate of 2.5 to 3 gram per kg of the seed. Uh, these are actually systemic uh, fungicides and are very effective and, effective and kill the pathogen inside the seed as well. So we can uh, grow resistant varieties like uh, recent varieties of uh, Rouge, Suhani and uh, MH21. Uh, uh, I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.